Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to another day of the Adventures of Jeremy, Capital Wasteland Edition. So if you remember correctly, we were heading towards that thing for Moira, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. And what is it? Minefield. Gotcha. That's right. And we got blown the hell up. So we had to start back over from the old lady's house. Look at the little boy playing tough guy. Oh! I ain't playing if I'm going to be the last one standing. Heal. Getting close again. Can't forget about the guy who's trying to snipe me either. I don't know where the one that got me was. That's right. I don't think it was. It was the damn car. That's what it was. I survived this time, though. Letter from Vault Tech. Well, that's interesting.
Oof. Damn it. Where's this bastard's body at? There he is. There we go. All right. I'll accept that. Now we need to head back and return to Moira. But first, I need to pick up one of these landmines. to the playground. Here it is. You want something? Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Hmm. How are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot... Because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this, anyway. 
now. Tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? That's a pretty good way of putting it. I think I'll use that in the book. Maybe I should credit you as a co-author instead of just a researcher. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. It most certainly does. And if I keep writing in the style of some of your reports, this is going to be one mighty slick book. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Oh, damn, more? The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Try not to die. I'm so cheerful when you say that, Moira. Tepid sewers. Back to the super doomer part. Alright. Where's the Santa? There it is. It's all over the damn place. Because I'm still damaged? Yes. Thought I dropped something by accident.
Damn. Whoa. Are you like some kind of crazy person? Is there any food in here? Kid, relax. I know what a TV dinner looks like. I hope. Come on, tell me already. It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Um, besides me and my papa, there was. Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. <clears throat> I guess they're all gone now. Yeah, more than likely. Nah, people don't like to stay long in Great Itch. The D.C. ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. All right. Oh, no. What happened? You know what you are? You're a big <laughs> asshole. That's right, an asshole. My papa said never to say that word, but you deserve it. Now what am I going to do? My papa's dead. Poor papa. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I, I had anyone else would be stupid enough. Ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing Stay that. here. I'm feeling better now that you're here. I just wish things would go back to how they used to be. Been wishing one hand and shit in the other. Let me know which one fills up first. Cool. Then tell me how to do it. What the hell is this?
that marker added? Well then... Where is Marigold Metro Station? Right there. I bet you fucking don't. I thought about that. Very well. You're a bastard.
somebody really loves mines. What else does that do? Intelligence goes down, but agility goes up. Well, it's not like my intelligence is very high to begin with. Oh, for the love of God. Where is this guy going to be at? Come on, you dumb ant. Come on. Come on. There we go.
<laughs> Very well. Clearly I don't need to go that way. It's the way I came from. Oh, hello. You startled me. Mm -hmm. You really mustn't creep up <laughs> on people like that. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh wait, I'm a scientist, how marvelous. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Yes, it's fairly obvious you have no clue what I'm dealing with here. Let me explain to you as I would to a child. The ants start out very, very big. Then we put the magic potion in the eggs, so when they hatch, the new ones will be smaller. Do that many, many times, and soon all the ants are tiny again. How marvelous! Well... I'm afraid I've made slight miscalculations in the mutagen. 
Instead of lowering their size, the brood hatched with a new biomechanism. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but, but I can't get near my equipment. A small price to pay for the advancement of science. A few die, and later, after the mutagen is improved, many more will live. That's the way it's done. The only way to correct this mistake is to modify the mutagen. I must get to my terminal. Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So, that's all there is to it. What do you say? Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bioenhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, and you may find it useful for your own experiments. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Yeah, no kidding. Please, don't insult my intelligence. You didn't even enter the hatchery. <laughs> now, I believe you have a job to do. I mean, if you've got ammo and health that I can take, then I'm going to take that first. And it definitely seems like you do. Hmm, pork and beans. That ant, ant was trying to haul ass.
All right, how am I going to get there? Scared the fuck out I'm of me, dude. I'm gonna ask you this one time. Give me the naughty nightwear. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Obviously. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. Yeah, yeah, just keep on walking. Oh, it <laughs> one did it. Okay. I like that. Back here. How else may oh. I assist you in your I'm an idiot.
<laughs> Probably gonna be the easiest of them all, because I just used all but one of my mines, but... You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. the next one. That's the queen. There's one ugly thing. Okay, grenade. Use that. These. And one stealth boy. Alright, what do I want? Barter? Use your wily charms to influence people. Each rank raises your speech and barter skills by five points. Armor of hurt core greatly improves your interactions with children, usually in the form of unique dialogue. Oh, come on. I just need to return, right? Is that the whole point? Thought I had to actually activate the thing. 
Oh yeah, I guess I'll just have to return. I wasted that stealth boy. some changes within the Queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Come now, the faster you tell me, the faster I can provide promised payment for your services. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. How marvelous! Here is the promised lab coat. I'm certain you'll find it quite useful. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. You should take him away from this place. Find him a home. It would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to con- I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. Hmm, yeah. what do I want? I think I want perception. How marvelous! And sight? Flame resistance of graded fire ants. Your perception has increased by one, and you are now 25% resistant to fire. Hmm. Interesting. Well, then let's skedaddle. Let's return to Brian. A door here.
hard to breathe in this thing. The ants! It was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did. But I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. I hope you'll come back and visit someday. Really? You mean it? Oh boy, thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Just don't forget about me. Sure. Well, Papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. I'll find it eventually. No worries, kid. You're pretty swell for a grown-up. Swell? Agatha's house, Winefield, Springdale School. All right, what the hell? Ah! Let's just screw off, you dumb raider. Alright, and that is the direction we will head next time. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again next time. Ooh, we will be... Wait, what was that? Okay, there we go. I've got four now. Cool. Next time we will head to Arafu. We will do that for the one Megaton trick. And then after that... We will probably go and try to continue the Wasteland Survival Guide. And then maybe even make our way to the GRW. So, I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you later. And as always, until next time, be safe, be kind, and have a good rest of your day. <laughs>